Intelligence Channel. Welcome back to another new video. As you can see, I am standing in front of the Dallas Museum of Art. And uh, there's a lot of exhibitions here. It's actually my first time visiting this museum. And uh, I'm very excited. So let's go talking and let's go in. Guys, this place is huge. There's like three stories to this place. Wow. So, this is the first exhibition we're going to visit. It's the He Said, She Said exhibition. Sounds very interesting in my opinion. That pool table was very interesting. Guys, write in the comments below, what do you think that pool table was about? I would love to know. It's very interesting, looks very cool. But it's actually part of the exhibition and you cannot touch that. Let's continue exploring. Guys, another challenge for you, write in the comments below, what do you think this artwork represents? What is it about? I'm just curious on uh, all of your level of artwork analyzation. Well, anyways, very interesting artwork. This one actually catch my eye very well. And uh, this art type of artwork is called surrealism. And uh, yeah, that's very interesting. but. This exhibition is very big, so we have more to explore. Guys, this is another artwork that catch my eye. This is called uh, The Slipper, and it's inspired by the movie uh, Fantasia uh, by Disney. It's uh, very interesting. This is another surrealism type artwork. Very beautiful indeed. Anyways, guys, that's about it for the He Said, She Said uh, exhibit for the Dallas Museum of Art and uh, this is the last place very beautiful very interesting the next place we're going to check out is the studio where they uh, restore those artworks but before we go there we're going to check out the Senufo helmet mask it's a very interesting look at the design and the shape very cool wow Beautiful. By the way, this is the view from the second floor balcony. Anyways, we're going to head to the studio where they restore the artworks now. It's very interesting and quite rare to see, so let's go.
inside there is where they actually restore the artworks. They also have an outdoor area too. And this one is their, uh, I guess their logo or their signature artwork. You can see the beautiful Dallas skyscrapers from here. The Impressionist Revolution from Monet to Matisse. This one is the next uh, exhibit we are visiting. And uh, yeah. Whoa. Hi there, just be mindful to keep the same thing. Wow. there that's the exit for this exhibit and uh, anyways we're going to go to the next few exhibits but first we might look at some specific artworks and I can ask the audience some questions this this is an artwork by Claude Monet and the artwork name is the Pont Neuf and it's an oil on canvas it's an image of a city life captured in oil paint in loose, sketchy style. Wow. Beautiful. This, this is another oil and canvas artwork by Peter August Renoir. And it's titled In the Studio. Uh, it's very interesting. Wow. Now this is another artwork by Renoir. This one actually really catched my eye when I walked down this hallway initially. It is an oil on canvas type artwork. And just look at the reflection. Look at the vibrance of the color. It's very beautiful. Wow. Now this water lily. And this one. These two artworks are extremely famous. And both are from Monet. Wow. Let me know in the comments below what type of artwork this is. Greatly appreciate it. This is called Riverbank in Springtime and was made by Vincent van Gogh. Wow. Also an oil on canvas. This artwork is called Mont. Saint Michael, Setting Sun by Paul Signac. It is an oil on canvas. Wow. Let me know in the comments below, what is the name of this uh, style of artwork? Like da 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 da. Yeah. It's really pretty. It's also actually very eye-catching. I was walking down the, the gallery and then this one really stood out to me. This is actually Van Gogh's, uh, one of Van Gogh's first artworks, actually. It is chalk, ink, and graphite on late paper. And it's called Café Terrace on the Place du Forum. Interesting. Wow. Now, this is the last artwork I would like to show you guys before we leave this 
exhibit. This is uh, artwork by Henry Matisse and it's called Ivy and Flower. Wow. The artwork is in multiple different sections. Wow, interesting. All of the artworks here are very beautiful and uh, I truly appreciate each and every single one of the pieces to its full value. But uh, now we had to explore the museum and we're going to go check out the different exhibits now. All those three that I previously mentioned are actually the new exhibits. Now we're going to go check out the original exhibit. So this is the next ex exhibition which is the Kir Collection of e Islamic Art. Now, although the exhibit is quite small, it's actually quite very interesting. But uh, we're going to go to the next exhibit now. I think it might be on the second floor, guys. We're going back to the second floor and then we'll go to the third floor. I said that there are actually three floors in the Dallas Museum of Art. <laughs> Whoa, look at this. This looks like a wood carving, actually. Whoa. Wow. Guys, write in the comments below what is this? I'm pretty sure it's some type of wood. But is this natural or is it carving? Wow. Beautiful. Truly it was like amazing. Wow. Well, anyways, we're going to go into the exhibit now. My mistake guys, this is actually the third floor because the second floor are all offices and we are going to see the arts of Asia first. This one is China and Japan. Before we continue exploring, this is actually a horse saddle for the nobles and uh, samurais. And it's from the Edo period. It's covered in Japanese lacquer and finished in a technique of blown and sprinkled gold dust. It is a design, it's an elegant pattern of small brocade bags with jostling tops used to hold containers or powdered tea for the tea ceremony and uh, wow and there's actually mother of pearl inlaid in, into this wow
beautiful. Now continuing the Asian exhibit, we come across a balcony area. We can see uh, this is the view from the third floor. This is a traditional uh, clothing. I think it is a Uchikake wedding kimono. Wow. Interesting. Now, another exhibit on level 3 is the art of Africa, Asia, and the Pacific Islands. So down the stairs, over there will be European art. Going straight would be uh, arts of Southern Asia, Islam, and ancient Egypt. Beautiful. All these artworks are very amazing in its own way. It represents and shows all the cultures that exist in that region. Very interesting. So now we are entering the gallery of the arts of Southern Asia, Islam, and ancient Egypt. I'm assuming this is India that we're viewing currently. I guess this is more uh, African, not necessarily Egyptian. Oh, and here, over here, this is the Egyptian artwork. And over here, this is the um, Mang Tu Women Igbe. Here, this is Hindu or Buddhism. I'm not sure. Now, this is Indo-Muslim art. And inside here, this is the Silk Road. We are now entering the ancient Egyptian uh, exhibit. This one is actually a real mummy. Uh, I remember in the past, they used to open the leg. But uh, for now, I guess they're going to close it. I'm assuming this is where they uh, preserve the organs. And this one is a coffin. A coffin of Horang. Wow. I'm assuming over here, these are all Buddhism artwork. Anyways, we are going to be checking the African artwork now.
I'm sorry guys, I uh, I didn't really know what exhibit this is. This is actually Tibetan exhibit. And that is a stupa. And uh, wow, this is the Tibetan exhibit. Very interesting. Very cool guys, really cool. Uh, so we're actually going to make our way to the African exhibit now. I remember over there has quite interesting stuff, actually. And uh, yeah, let's go. This is the Art of Africa exhibit. Wow. Guys, guys, please let me know in the comments below what this instrument is. The one that I just played. Well, it's very interesting actually. And uh, yeah, greatly appreciate it if you let me know in the comments below. Wow, the Dallas Museum of Art truly has a lot and a lot of artworks, sculptures, and a lot of culture actually. All of these are representation of our human culture. Very diverse as you can see. Anyways, let's continue our uh, exploration. Now this one is the um, Papua New Guinea exhibition. And down there is the Indonesian exhibition. I think. Whoops, that's the Asian exhibition. I think down that side is the Indonesian exhibition. And over here is the Arts of the Pacific Islands. Here is the Indonesian exhibit. And we're back. The design and layout is pretty much a loop, which is very interesting to be honest. Now we are going to go check out the European Art Exhibition. Here we are. This is the European Art Exhibition. Majority are all artworks and some small sculptures.
This artwork is very vibrant in color and actually catched my eye very well when I was passing through here. Uh, it's called Nature of Abundance. And uh, I think it is oil on canvas. Wow. Interesting. This, this is another artwork by Pierre Auguste Renoir. It's a lithograph on paper. Interesting. Wow. Now we will be continuing the exhibition. This exhibition is actually really big. Very beautiful, filled with uh, wonderful artworks. I think we have moved into uh, modern art, I think. Seems as if they actually have an outdoor area. Wow. Now here, I think this one is ancient Greece. This is Greek and Roman art. We will be heading out now. We will be uh, continuing the exploration in the European art now. Yo, guys, what do you think this is? Now, come on, guys, don't think dirty, because this is actually a flute player. Now, guys, these two paintings are made by very famous artists, which are Picasso and Dali. Let me know in the comments below which one is the Picasso or Dali. Let me know. Very interesting what you guys think.
another artwork that I would like to show you. Um, who do you think this is? It's a very famous person. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Now this is a very famous sculpture. It is called Three Men Walking and it's by Alberto Giamocchetti. Wow. Interesting. Now here, there's something very special. This one is actually an artwork. It's a sculpture artwork, but you can sit on it. You can actually touch it and like sit on it. You can even lie down on it too, if you would like. Interesting. <laughs> well, wow. I've never really seen a museum able to like be actually able to touch like a sculpture or some type of artwork. Very interesting. Anyways, let's continue our exploration. Now we'll be continuing the European art exploration. These are all European artworks. It's very impressive. The color are very vibrant. The color is very vibrant. Wow. That one's really cool. I noticed one thing about the wow. Dallas Museum of Art. It's actually always a huge loop. Look, we're back in the beginning. So it's always a very big circuit. And so we've completed the exploration of the European art. Now I think we will check out the uh, Central American artwork. That will be the last one. And that's on like the fourth floor or something. Anyways, let's go. Here we are in the Central American art. This one is on the fourth floor. In the fourth floor, we have the design and decorative art, indigenous American art, Latin American art, US and Canadian art. There's four exhibits here in the fourth floor. First, we'll check out the indigenous American art.
So this exhibit is in a loop. It's small but very like intricate, very interesting, wonderful. This one is the art studio but uh, currently it is closed. The, n the next exhibit we are going to check out is the American art. This is the 18th century art. Now we are going back to American art. Over here, I think this is 19th century art. Beautiful. Wow. This is the American silver industry. Hello everyone. This is the early 20th century artworks. These are decorative arts and design study gallery. Beautiful. 
truly wonderful. 20th century artwork gallery. Now we are back at the staircase. This is the last artwork I would like to show you before I exit this museum. <laughs> I used to draw things like this when I was young, like city and like cars and stuff like that. I'm assuming this is retro futurism. But uh, I cannot guarantee. I'm not too sure. Hmm. Wow. There's a lot of detail that ha actually went into this artwork. As you can see, there's a car crash here and here. There's also individual people driving inside of these vehicles. Which is actually very interesting. <laughs> wow. Before I exit the museum, I'd like to show you uh, some last exhibits here. Wow. Interesting. This is the A.H. Meadows Galleries. North America. Whoa. Now here, this is the East, the East Mall Colombian area. We were here, we were here. We have visited this gallery already. Now we have made a full complete loop. Anyways guys, I uh, believe that I have explored at least 90% of this beautiful museum. And uh, I think that means that this vlog is going to come to an end. Uh, I hope you uh, learn a little bit more about the art in this museum and stuff. In my opinion, it's very beautiful and I really love it. Anyways, please remember to like, subscribe, comment, and share my videos. Thank you for supporting the channel. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day, everyone.